All right, what I want to notice now, I want to put in all the coordinates all the way around, and we're going to just reflect them. And so because the radius is 1, we've gone straight to the right, and so we've gone 1 to the right, but none up and down. If we go to the other side, we've gone 1 to the left, or negative 1, none up and down. If we go straight up, we've gone none to the left, but 1 up. And if we go down, we go none left and right, but 1 down. All because the radius is 1. Now, 30, 60, 90 shows up in this first one. And so notice that the y side is the short side. And so you have your, we translated all our 45s into 1 and root 2 over 2. Root 2 over 2. And we transformed our ratios between our 30, 60, 90 into the short side being one half, hypotenuse being twice that, and then root three over two as long. And so the x is the long one here, and the y is one half. What I wanna do now is notice this triangle over here is the same as that, except the x is gonna be negative and the y is going to be the same. Notice that this triangle down here is going to have the same x negative root 3 over 2 and also have a negative y value. And so you've got square root of 3 here and 2 and 1 half but this one's a negative 1 half because we've gone down all of these are just reflections of each other. So notice the 30, 150, 210, and 330. All of those that have the reference angle of 30 degrees all are based on the same coordinate, which is nice. The only thing that changes is the positive or the negative of it all. So let's deal with the 60s now because they're the same ratios except the x's and the y's are switched. Because in the 30 degree, with the 60 as the base, sorry, the x is the short one, and so this is 1 half. And then root 3 over 2 is the y value. So then over here, the x's are negative. We've got square root of 3 over 2. Down here, the x is negative still, but so is the y. And over here, x's are positive because you've gone to the right, but you've gone down into your y value is negative. Now 45, 45, those are the nice ones because you know it's root 2 over 2. And root 2 over 2, you know the x and the y have the same value because both sides, it's an isosceles triangle. And so the x's change signs, root 2 over 2. The y's are the same. Over here, both of them are negative because you've gone to the left and you've gone down, so negative x's and negative y's. And here we have positive x's and negative y's. So all of that is just reflecting it, reflecting it, reflecting it. So what I want us to notice next are all the patterns based in it.